If one has become habituated to this bodhicitta, what wrong would one not have abandoned? What good would one not have done? Enthusiastically strive to meditate upon it. If one is without the vital juice of bodhicitta, one cannot even enter the Mahayana. If such is the case, how will one get to the supreme stage of Buddhahood? It is hard for bodhicitta to arise in a mind stream ever disturbed by afflictive emotions, just as it is hard for the hundred petal lotus to arise in a place with no marshlands. When a foundation of bodhicitta has been laid down, terrible wrongdoing is naturally stopped. All wholesome activity comes into one's hands, one is free from anxiety and panic and comes to be stable.